the truth. Let's see if this works. If you are interested in getting an epic PC, you're gonna wanna find out what I got in this box. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I thought of when buying a PC is that I need a PC stand holder. I went with this option right here, seemed pretty affordable. I'll put the price up right now, just in case you guys want one as well. Looks pretty standard for the most part. Pretty nice PC stand, it comes with some wheels, so I will make sure to set this up and show you guys the finished product. Let's get to the PC. I haven't seen anyone actually unbox this exact PC. And the reason why that is, is because it's kind of expensive and it's just fully maxed out other than the RAM. What I decide to go with, you still can't tell, it's a box inside a box. Let's actually take this out of the box. <sighs> Man, this is heavy. I cannot actually get this box outside of this brown box, so we're just gonna go in. So we got the Dell logo right here. Usually what you get in this upper box right here is a mouse and a keyboard. I actually decided to just go with the charging cable because that's all I need. Look at this, you guys. It is the Dell Alienware R12 fully maxed out other than the RAM. Let's just say this thing is a beast. Oh, man, that's heavy. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna set up this PC and then show you guys how it performs. Whew. This is ridiculous. Okay. I will say these wheels are extremely hard to get in. I'm not sure why. Is that or I need to work out? So as you can see here, this is what the PC looks like all set up. I was actually able to customize the colors of it. And then that's also customized right there as well. All right, so now I want to show you guys the specs I ended up going with on this PC, just in case you might want to have it as well. They did have the option to do 128. I feel like that's kind of overkill. I even feel like 64 is kind of overkill, but you know what? I've never owned a PC in my entire life. I want something that I just would never have to worry about. So I went with the 64. And then I went with the NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 3090, 24 gigabytes GDDR6X. That's pretty much the fastest graphics card you could possibly get. Then I went with 11th gen Intel Core i9, and then it's got the K there, so I can overclock my PC if I want to. And then I also went with two terabytes of M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD storage. So pretty much two terabytes of storage. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna do a comparison test between my PC and my laptop. Pretty much as you can see here on the screen, I have this monitor hooked up to this PC and I have this monitor hooked up to this laptop. I'm gonna hit export the same time and I'm gonna see if this screen right here exports faster than this screen right here. And we'll see, you know, if it was really worth the investment. If the PC does not beat my laptop, I may have to reconsider my investment, but let's see how it does. All right, so I'm gonna go up here to File, Export, Export Media, and I'm just gonna say Export. And then for my laptop, I'm going to do the same exact thing, Export, Media, and it's probably gonna take a little bit longer for my laptop to load this up. And I'll even give this one a slight second head start. So I'm gonna hit export, bam, hit export. Now I'm hitting export on the PC and let's see which one does it faster. You can already see that right there, this PC has already got almost 10% and this one hasn't even loaded yet. Okay, this is huge. All right, now that one just loaded. The fan of the laptop right now is super loud. The fan of this PC, I can't hear it at all. Look how much of a beast this thing is. 50, look at that, it's just cruising. This one's only at 2%, you guys. Oh my God, it's, all... it's done. And this one's only at 4%. Oh my goodness. 
That wasn't even a competition. All right, we're gonna let the laptop one continue and we're gonna see how long that takes. And mind you, this is only 55 seconds worth of footage. And that, I think it did it in less than a minute, I wanna say. I have on my phone right now, a couple minutes. And now it's showing that that is at 9% of 10%. Okay, wow. You guys, that is insane. The whole reason why I was wanting to get this PC is because I am trying to get more into video editing. I do hire video editors here and there to help me with my YouTube videos, but it would be nice to be able to edit my own videos as well in addition. So I just wanted something that was a beast and this clearly showed that without a doubt. Let me show you guys a couple more things right now. So this is the Dell Alienware Command Center. You can go here to edit. So whatever the colors are showing right there, they're gonna show right there as well. Just for demonstration, let me change the head and I'll make it purple okay so as you can see there it's purple all right that's purple now I can just change the colors real time and it'll change the colors for me all right so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna just change it back to orange and then it's showing orange right there look at this you guys as we're playing around for PC it is still exporting it's at 55 percent this is only 55 seconds of footage 55 seconds this would take so much time okay and this fan is so loud. This PC is quiet as heck, okay? Now, let me show you a couple other things that you can do in this PC to customize it. So you can obviously customize the rings and all that, and even the side color as well. Now, here's where you can kind of see what's happening with your actual system. So right now, the CPU is working at 3.3 three gigahertz and the nvidia geoforce rtx 3090 which is the fully maxed out graphics card you can't get more powerful than the card i got it's very expensive but this is where it's at and usage is only 14 percent usage for this is six percent and then what we have for our memory is 2660 so not too bad everything's on the low side in terms of usage and then you can overclock your PC as well if you want to. Pretty much what you do is you just check mark this to overclock it. You do run the risk of breaking something inside your PC if you do go with an overclock, but just know that is a thing. And then you can control your thermals and your fan if you want your fans louder or softer. And then performance. And then you can have balanced, high performance power saver. You can choose what kind of theme you want to focus on right now. I just have on balanced. And then just volume. So if you're like playing a movie maybe you want to change your audio to sound more like a movie would maybe it's boosting up the bass or something so you can play around with these settings it's all here and it's already downloaded for you it's just called the alienware command center look at that it just finished exporting that's insane you guys i want to say that was like an extra five minutes at least i've yet to see a youtube video where someone's covering such a specked out pc mind you there's a reason for that because it is so expensive but keep in mind that you more than likely will not be disappointed with your purchase as long as you can afford it and all i gotta say is definitely recommend a lot of ram definitely recommend a high cpu and then if you can afford a high graphics card do that as well especially for video editing you need a lot of all of that so i'm very happy happy with this purchase. I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you guys are wanting me to cover anything in particular about this PC that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do that. Again, I haven't seen many Alienware R12 fully specced out kind of PCs out there. Other than this not being the 128 gigabytes of RAM, it's fully specced out. So there's that kind of comparison. As you can see here, Alienware, laptop, this PC destroyed this laptop without a doubt so if you are wanting to go with something more permanent that isn't mobile i would go with the alienware pc nowadays people are saying that if you try to build your own pc versus getting just a custom pre-built one if there isn't that much of a cost difference so you may want to go with this option if you are interested in that and with that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this unboxing video on my new alienware r12 pc what a beast it's crazy if you guys did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you could subscribe i'd greatly appreciate the support and with that being said i hope to see you guys in future videos thanks